What up, guys? It's the homie, the one and only, your boy Lone Wolf, aka The Real Suppress. And today we're doing something new. I thought today that maybe I should do a story time and tell you guys a little about something that happened in my life. And the story I thought I would begin with is the first time I had my injury. And it was around the age I was 13. And trust me, the story doesn't sound interesting, but it's definitely something worth listening to. So if you guys haven't already, please turn that like button blue. Not just for the story, for also dropping the 60 bomb and TDM by myself with no one else. But yeah, so the story basically starts out, um, I'm at my mom's house and I just got in a fight with my ex stepdad. And me and him will always butt head, we always has our disagreements. And my mom will be in between too because that's her husband and I'm her son. And it doesn't really seem like a hard choice, but it really is a hard choice for a parent. So basically she's like, all right, to make me stop being mad, she'll take me to the skate park because at the time I love skateboarding. I've been skateboarding ever since I was about seven. And this will be my first time going to a skate park. And she took my little brother along so he could ride his scooter around so it could just be me and him chilling. So we get to the skate park and this is my first time ever being at a skate park. So I didn't know how to do tricks, grind, ollies, none of that stuff. Like all this stuff was new to me. I only see it on TV, X games, and on video games. So we finally arrive at the skate park. Half of me is excited while the other half of me is frightened out of my mind because this is my first time being to a skate park. And I don't know what to do and how to do certain stuff. So eventually I ended up talking to one of the guys at the skate park. I'm like, um, can you teach me how to do this real quick? And he's like, sure, bro. I'll teach you how to do this. And I'm like, all right, cool, man. And he basically ended up telling me, saying, oh, you need different shoes. You need skateboard shoes. You want to do this. You can't wear no Jordan to a skate park because it don't work that way, fam. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to start coming up here more often. And then... I started grinding a little bit, getting used to it. I see my brother riding on his scooter, going up ramps, and then I just see this half pipe. And people who don't know who a half, what a half pipe is, it's basically like a slanted curve ramp, like a ramp that curves downward. And I'm looking at it, and I'm at like ground level at the moment, so I'm like, okay, this looks easy. This will give me enough speed to go up ramp and do a trick. And I'm like, alright, let me get on top of this. I'm a thug, so I'm a thug it out. And I get on top of the half pipe. And it was so intimidated up there. Like, it wasn't right high up, but it was like, legit. Not really high up. So, I'm looking down. I'm like, wow, this is a little bit intimidating being up here than being at ground level. So, I'm talking to myself, hyping myself up so I can go through with it. And I'm like, okay, if I take my fears head on, then I'll just conquer them. Because that's the best way to do it. And thinking back, I'm like, thinking back right now, that's just very, very dumb. Like, don't do that. Don't ever try that. So, I put the back of my left foot on the back of the skateboard. And my right foot at the tip of the skateboard. So, the skateboard is like in the air, but the back is on the half pipe. And I push all my weight on my right foot so the skateboard comes down and goes down the half pipe. And when I did that, I just remember blacking out. And I woke up. I saw a bunch of people around me. I saw people, the girls from Dairy Queen that was right next to the skate park, the skaters. And I'm like, wow, I really just wiped out in front of all these people. I'm embarrassed like a bug. And... I start getting up, it's like, no, 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 don't get up, don't get up, and I see, like, f their fright, like, fright, fear in their eyes, that's what I see, and I'm like, okay, what's going on, and I, like, sit back down, lay down on the pavement, and I look at my leg, my left leg, it's, like, twisted counterclockwise, like, it's legit twisted, like, a backwards letter L. I'm like, oh god, I started crying, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, well, I'm not going to be able to play track, football, basketball, and I'm 13 years old, and this is my first injury, so I'm overthinking, and I'm thinking the most, and then I see my little brother just like burst through the crowd, and he got tears in his eye, I'm like, I don't know why he crying, but I guess 
the reason why he was crying because he saw his big brother in pain. Pain. So he just grabs my left foot. I'm like, uh, London, what are you doing? And like a straight savage, he grabs my foot. He twisted it back in place. I'm like, what the fuck? I started crying more. I'm like, where did he learn this survival of fitness type stuff at? And he just twisted my leg back in place. And then like somebody's like, do you have a phone? Who do we call? Who do we call? I'm like, first. No, somebody else yelled in the car. They're like, all right, somebody called 911. It's like, what's your mom's number? I'm like, I gave my mom's number and everything. I just hear the ambulance coming around the corner. I'm like crying, I'm like, oh my God. I try to stand up again, they're like, no, sit down, sit down. I'm like, I'm all right, I'm all right. With tears in my eyes, they're like, no, sit down, man. And I'm like, all right. And the ambulance, they get me up beside the ambulance and I'm in there and the guy, I don't know what to call him, I'm sorry. I don't know what to call him, but he starts talking to me. He's like, um, he basically just starts me asking me concussion questions and everything. And I didn't have a concussion, so I passed that. And I'm crying while I'm in there. He's just telling me to calm down as I'm answering the questions. He's like, calm down, calm down. Everything's going to be all right. So basically, I end up in the hospital, Bedford Hospital. And I'm there. And I see douche stepdad come in and my mom come in and I think my stepmom and my dad end up coming to all the way from Cleveland just to come to another city well yeah and they're, they're in there and they're asking what happened how could this happen and I'm like I'm fine I'm better now I just went down half pipe and I end up coming down the wrong way I blacked out and my mom, she just had that look on her face. She's like, wow, I feel like the worst parent in the world. And I'm like, mom, this is not your fault. It's totally good. It's all me. I made a dumb decision. But I remember asked, she was asking me, like, do you want to go home? Like, not because I didn't live with her. I lived with my dad at the time. She's like, do you want to go home and to your dad? I'm like, no, nah, I want to stay here with you because you're my mom. Because she knew I was having, like, a bad day with the argument with my stepdad. And now this. She was, so I was told her, no, I just want to stay here. And that night, I remember my leg, like, they had to put a cast on my whole leg. It was hurting so painfully. Like, it was hurting. Like, it was aching. And, like, I guess as soon as we got home, it was, like, really late night. Like, around, I guess, 10, I guess. Which I think they took us back to Dairy Queen to get ice cream to calm me down and make me feel better. And I remember my leg was just hurting. And I think they put the cast on wrong. And my mom told me, she's like, yeah, they put the cast on wrong. They put it, like, in the direction. Like, they twisted it further. So, like, they basically put it on. So, like, my leg would be twisting more left for my left foot than it should be twisting straight. And that, that made it hurt worse. It started making ache. And, like, I slept on the couch. And I would keep calling my mom. I'm like, mom, I need this. I need pills. I feel bad for her because I don't want to do that. And like, I remember my stepdad came down instead of her when I called her. And he was like, hey, calm the fuck down. Don't be calling your mom. Like, she's busy. She got work tomorrow and everything. And she's too worried about you. I'm like, dick, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, dude, I will snap on you. But yeah, that's basically the first story of how I broke my leg. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like the video. It really helps out a lot. And share with your friends if you want to. And comment below if you got any similar sto stories. But yeah, this has been your home, homie Lone Wolf signing out. Peace.